This is a Game Caviar production. With all the new games coming out, especially with Gears War Judgment just dropping this week, it may be easy for somebody to overlook the games of past. Tomb Raider is still a very new game. It hasn't, I don't think it's been out for a month, if that. Uh, well, I'm not going to forget it. And that's why I'm making this video. Came home and I popped old Tomb Raider in. I beat Dead Space 3, so uh, when I get the DLC for it, I'll start making videos for that again. But as of right now, it's kind of out of the rotation because, you know, like I said, I beat it. So um, Tomb Raider is still a great game. I still love this game. Like all the positives that I said for this game are still uh, the same. You know, it's fun, it's fast paced, it's one of those platformers. It's kind of like Uncharted mixed with uh, Heavy Rain or Shimu. Remember old Shimu back on Dreamcast? Who had a Dreamcast? I want to know. I think I still have my Dreamcast. I remember back in the day, uh, if you had a Dreamcast, then it was a pretty big deal. That was Sega's last hurrah, so to speak, as far as consoles go. And I remember I had my Dreamcast and I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and that was like the greatest game ever created because I remember they had the Marvel games on PS1 at the time. I had a PlayStation 1 or 2. I think it was 1. But you couldn't switch the players out like you could on the arcade version. But if you got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on, uh, on uh, what is it, Sega Dreamcast... Than you could I was like unheard of so when it happened when I got that game I was like man that's crazy and I I, I I'd end up trading something stupid for that game too man it wasn't even like I didn't buy it straight out but this guy that I went to high school with he had it and I traded something with him and I don't remember what it was but I think it was something superficial maybe like some CDs or something I don't know it was weird or maybe it was another game I think it was another game we had a guy in our high school that sold uh, five dollar bootleg Dreamcast games, so uh, I had, man, I had to hook up for Dreamcast, but anyway Tomb Raider is, I love this game, seriously uh, I think after this, after this part, I had to climb on top of this radio tower and like, call for distress signal and this plane swooped in and I was like man, we about to be rescued, hell yeah and then the storm came and this lightning struck and it was like, Pow! and the plane was like Burr! and it hit the ground and like, I had to slide down this hill because it's this airplane motor was like behind me and then if I had to go left or right so I wouldn't get crushed by the debris it, it was just it was good it's a real good game Bioshock is coming up soon uh, the, the the lineup will be Tomb Raider uh, Gears of War Bioshock uh, let's see here what else did I have probably Army of Two and something else, uh, either Crisis 3, Battlefield 3, Black Ops 2, uh, or just Call of Duty in general. Uh, maybe some Homefront. I'll probably play some Homefront this weekend. I was going to play it last weekend, but I ended up playing Dead Space 3 because I wanted to beat it. So this weekend, it'll probably end up being some uh, Homefront, something like that. But anyway, the, uh, the game rotation will stay fresh. Of course, Bioshock is going to be another one of those games that you have to put a bunch of hours into, so it's going to be around for a while. Army of Two is another one. Gears of War, of course. Tomb Raider, yes. Uh, Black Ops 2, not so much. Uh, Crisis 3, no. Nah. You know, the Homefront, Black Ops 2, Crisis 3, those are all like online strictly games. I'm not going to be showing any, any uh, single-player campaigns of those games. First of all, I haven't touched the single-player ca campaign of Crisis 3 or Black Ops 2 and I beat Homefront so there's really no point in and it's an old game anyway so it's really no point in me going through and playing the single player campaign uh, like I said keep in mind that if you buy Homefront now and you play it if you don't like it or you kinda on a fence the people who Crytek who made Crisis 3 are gonna make the sequel to Homefront and I, I follow that game because I'm a really big fan of Homefront. I love that game. And from the last thing that I heard from them was that it's going to be amazing. And I believe every syllable of that sentence because they do know how to make re really good games. So uh, it's, it's most likely, I don't think it's coming out this year. They haven't even revealed it yet. It's going to be a next gen. Uh, it would be good if it was a launch 
title. I would definitely pick that up. Seriously. I plan on getting the PS4 first. And then the Xbox maybe sometime early or mid next year. Or maybe late next year. Depending on how things go. Uh, but yeah, the PS4 is definitely going to be the, the, the lead console for next generation. And uh, let's see. As soon as I get information on... Uh, release date or pre-order sales for the next gen consoles I will post that information on the Facebook page Facebook <clears throat> excuse me Wow <clears throat> facebook.com slash game caviar and from there I post the link uh, just like the other day I posted the link for Battlefield 4 the website is up the reveal is gonna be next week if you go on that website now, I posted this on Facebook, but if you go on that website right now and you log in to the website, you actually get a dog tag that you can use in uh, Battlefield 4. There was a rumor today, a speculation that IGN said that Battlefield 4 may be the game of the year, and it could possibly be. But anyway, uh, we'll talk about it in the description. I will put up a new video this weekend. I'm not having it. This has been Tomb Raider. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.